Part 2 of Lesson 8 starts on page 195, tracing a shape from a photo. So, number 1, open the 08 start file in Photoshop. So, File, Browse and Bridge, click on this PC, go to your Student G Drive, Art, Computer Graphics, 2018 Photoshop Book Files, Lesson Files, Lesson 8, and the 08 Start File. Okay. Page 196, choose File, Save As, and rename the file as 08 Working. and click Save. Make sure that you first go to the H drive. Save your work in your computer graphics folder. Go to your book lesson folder. Notice that I don't have a book lesson folder. I saved my work here, but you should always save your work in the correct folder so you can find it pretty easily. and hit save. Okay, so the first thing I would do is blow up on the actual image so you can see it a little better. And then on page 196, with the pen tool selected, click point A. So make sure that pen tool is selected and you click a once on point A. You can see that it's created a new shape layer. If it has not, then you need to go back and make sure that all of your settings are correct from um, what we did earlier for uh, part one. Okay, and drag the cursor to the red dot. We're going to click point B and drag, point C and drag, D. We're going to just click once for E, and then F we're going to drag, and then G. H we're going to just click once. We're going to click once on I, and then Press and hold Alt. We're going to convert this to a corner point. Click I just once, and then J, K, L. We're going to just click once on M. N we just click once, then press and hold Alt. Con convert that to a corner point as well. And then see the little O? That means we're going to finish this shape and just click once. The important thing here, you cannot skip this next step. You need to make sure that you, after you've completed the shape, you need to hit enter. The number one on the bottom of page 196 where it says adding a second shape to a path, hide the outside cup layer. And make the inside handle layer visible. Make sure that the shape one is selected in the layers panel. So you click on that and make sure. And then in the paths panel, select shape one in the paths. Make sure the pen tool is selected and choose subtract from, subtract from shape. So click on here and then subtract front shape. And now we're going to click point A for our starting point, and then B and C. We're just going to move around, and then E. Now notice it looks like the shape is finished because it created this automatic line, but the shape is not finished yet. So I'm going to convert this to a corner point. I'm going to hit Alt and then come over here. Now I know the shape is finished because I see the little circle. 
by the pen tool and click on that and we know that's a finished shape. So you're, you're, look at your past panel. It needs to look like that. If it does not look like that, then you need to redo it. All right, so we just finished through the bottom of page 197. So I'm going to turn the page. In the paths panel, double click the shape one path and type cup outline. in the Save Path dialog box and click OK to save it. Then, still in the Paths panel, click in an empty area to de deselect all of the paths. Number nine, in the Layers panel, so click on the Layers panel, select the Shape 1 layer, and then click the delete layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Click yes if you're asked to confirm the deletion. This will also remove shape one shape path from the paths panel in the same way. Delete the inside handle and outside cup layers. Choose File, Save Your Work. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the hand tool so we can see our image full screen. It says select the cup outline path in the paths panel. Choose Edit. Define Custom Shape. Name the shape Coffee Cup. and hit OK. Select the custom shape tool, which is underneath our ellipse tool. Click that. Hidden under the rectangle or the ellipse, either one in the tool panel. Open the custom shape picker in the options menu. and scroll down to the bottom of the picker. There's our coffee cup. The shape you added should be the last one displayed. Click to select the coffee cup. Position the custom shape tool near the top left corner of the document. Then hold down the shift key to maintain the original proportions and start dragging down and to the right. With the, when the logo is about two inches tall, release the mouse button and then release the shift key. Okay. Double click the shape one layer in the layers panel. And name a coffee cup. You've created a custom shape from your path, and you've used custom shape tool to draw the shape on the image, but it's just an outline. You'll need to fill it. Make sure the coffee cup layer is selected in the layers panel. Select the pen tool in the tool panel. In the options bar, select black for the fill color and no color for the stroke. The coffee shape is now a solid black shape. Press enter or return to deselect the coffee cup.
In the tool panel, select the custom shape tool. In the pads panel, select the coffee cup shape path. In the options bar, choose subtract front shape. From the pads operation menu, the new pointer appears to be a crosshair with a small minus sign. Let's blow up on our image a little bit so we can see it better. Ours doesn't want to look like that, so we're going to make sure we're in this layer now. There we go. So make sure that you're in the paths panel, that you click on the coffee cup shape path, and then we can see the little minus sign. Okay. Number four says select a lightning bolt from the custom shape picker. and drag down to the bottom right. Click first as you drag diagonally. Pressing shift, pressing the shift key keeps the dimensions proportional. Okay, so my lightning bolt needs to be completely empty. Instead, mine's filled in with black. The reason why I went back and figured it out, the reason why I did this is because I actually hit shift before I started to click and drag in order to create the lightning bolt. So what I need to do is go back. So I'm going to go back to the step where I set the shape. And you can see it's just anchor points. And then press enter. I want to make sure I'm on the correct layer. I'm going to go back to paths and I'm supposed to select the coffee cup shape path and the lightning bolt. And then I need to make sure it says subtract front shape, which it does. And now I'm going to actually click. Okay. So now I'm going to click and start to drag, but now I'm going to press shift to constrain the proportions and um, and then let go and so now it's actually subtracted because I hit shift first it was adding instead of subtracting but we really wanted to use the the tool the shift key tool to uh, constrain the proportions of the lightning bolt not add the lightning bolt to the cup so now it's working just fine All right, so we are on page 201, and it says select the move tool in the tool panel. Select the coffee cup layer right here, so, and choose file. Place linked. Select the logo type EPS file in the Lessons 8 folder. So I need to go back to the student G drive. And then here we are. And I'm going to uh, move this over. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and um, end this video. We're at 15 minutes, and we will begin again on part three.